Hello everyone, this is Nick Devin, the Witch of Seacliff, and this evening I have something very witchy for you to do tonight. It's Friday night, so hopefully you'll appreciate this. This is a witch's potion, a lust potion. So if you have a mate and you desire more passion, more heat in your relationship. You can make this potion for your lover. Or if you are hoping, wishing for a lover, you can do this spell for yourself and drink it and intend upon the qualities that you wish, the desirous, lustful qualities you intend for a lover. So it's really simple. This is really fast, really quick. This is the quick witch. <laughs> um, all you need to do, um, if you have some uh, basic ingredients. Now I have a few special ingredients that I get at the health food store, but number one, if you have a dry red wine, if you don't drink, you can make this in a tea. But I think you all know that the Witch of Seacliff is going to go for the wine. <laughs> I'd much rather drink wine, but hey, some people don't drink. You can make this in tea. So my recommendation, use Damiana tea. It's a Mexican herb. It is known for its ability as an aphrodisiac. And you can make that tea if you don't have Damiana. What can you use? You can use chamomile, green tea, black tea, any kind of tea as a base. And what you're going to add is some lustful herbs or love herbs. Now, really, you don't need any special herbs. I like Damiana. I like uh, rosemary for love. I like raspberry for love. And I like sugar and I like honey. I have some honey, rosemary honey over there. So all you have to do is you can grind up some herbs in a mortar and pestle or you can just put the herbs in a glass of wine or a pitcher of wine. I don't, I only have a glass of wine here, but if you're going to make it, you should make a glass for yourself and for your beloved. Uh, I have ground in here some rosemary, some lavender, Damiana and brown sugar. So I'm just going to take a few pinches. Now, if you don't like, you know, uh, pieces of things in your wine, then you should put this in a mortar and pestle and grind it. If you don't mind, I like to use the, the um, street herbs and sugar. So I'm just putting in a few pinches of uh, the brown sugar and I'm putting in some a few pinches of raspberry and some Damiana and rosemary and lavender. I don't mind little bits and pieces. It really doesn't bother me but many people object to that. Then I'm going to add in some uh, honey that has fresh rosemary in it and it's been steeped overnight. Now I have fresh rosemary here, which you can also put a sprig of fresh rosemary. And as you stir, you put in all of your intentions, what you desire from a lover, if you uh, are willing a lover towards you, the qualities you would like in a lover. If you have a beloved, put in all your intentions for passion and desire into that wine or tea and just stir it in. I stir it in with a silver spoon. Silver is a, pro a protecting um, metal and it's also conducting. So it will bring energy into your spoon. And that's all there is to it. 
and you can let this sit for an hour. You can make a big picture of it and let it sit for an hour. You could chill it in a refrigerator if you like your red wine chilled. You can make it with a rosé or any type of wine, but I find a dry wine is best because you're adding sugar and honey. Now you can use um, rose quartz or any kind of crystals to charge the energy of love into your spell, as well as uh, lighting a candle. I have a pink candle, it blew out. Pink candle, light it, and charge that next to your pitcher or glass of wine. And so you have your crystals, you have uh, the candles, you can put flowers, you can put rosemary, whatever you desire around, and focus your intentions on that glass, on that pitcher of wine, or on your tea. And you can let the tea steep for a witchy amount of minutes, such as 9 or 13. I like to use also selenite. Selenite is a very powerful uh, crystal to imbue my intentions into the potion, as well as rose quartz is all about unconditional love. And pink is about romance, and if you want passion, you can light a red candle. If you don't have a specific uh, colored candle, uh, just use white. White can substitute for any color. Uh, you can also inscribe on a candle your intentions. And it's really easy to do. And that is your lust potion. I hope you try it tonight. And I'm sure you'll have an excellent evening if you do. <laughs> have a great evening, everyone. Bye-bye.